Today I'll be working on this bench seat with sliding drawer storage made from reclaimed 2x4s and a $17 sheet of plywood. The first thing I did was grab my old 2x4s that I had laying around for a long time and I cut everything to size. These cuts don't have to be completely accurate and you'll see why later. Next, I took these 2x4 pieces into my apartment and arranged them into the shapes that they're supposed to be, and I connected them all using pocket screws. Now that I have my two frames assembled, I'm going to be using plywood to connect my two frames together, so I'm heading outside to cut those now. You could really use any type of plywood for this, but I'm going to be using half inch white face plywood so I won't have to paint anything later. So now I'm connecting the two end pieces first to give the whole thing structure, and I'm using my nail gun so that you won't be able to really see how it's connected once it's finished. After that, I laid it right side up so that I could connect the top piece of plywood. And now it's time to connect the drawer slides. They're actually going to be connected directly to the 2x4s and I'll be covering them up with plywood facing later. As you can see, I'm using a two inch piece of wood as a guide to make sure that all four of the drawer slides are connected on the exact same height. At this point, all of the slides are mounted, so now I'm going to make the drawers that go into all these spaces. I'm actually using some $2 particle board for this, but on the front piece, I'm going to use the nice white face plywood because that piece is actually going to be visible, and you'll see more about that later. Now I'm just checking to make sure that both of the drawers fit into the holes with the slides in there and it looks like I measured everything right. Now I'm removing the extension piece of the drawer slide and connecting that to the wooden drawer itself. I had to try a few times, but now everything is in there moving smoothly, so it looks like it's all level. At this point, it's starting to look how it's supposed to, but you can still see all of these imperfections on the beat up old 2x4s that I used to put this thing together. So that's why I headed outside to cut some more framing strips that I would use on the front to make it look a little bit better. So now my framing strips are done and I'm just checking to make sure that they all fit exactly where they need to before gluing them and nailing them into place. So now it looks pretty good, but if you look close enough, there's still a few things we gotta take care of. You can still see the drawer slides hanging out there and there's gaps on the corners of the drawers. So I'm using even more framing strips to cover up those spaces. And as you can see, those strips are just hanging over those gaps and covering up the tips of those drawer slides so you really won't know that they're there otherwise.
Now that I'm done with this step, I'm just sliding the drawers in and out and making sure that they still work now that I have those frames on there. And now the last thing we need to do to make this look professional is get some good handles.